at Journey Chick on Instagram. We're going to try to do this in one take today. Yes, the camera's on, I assure you. <laughs> so how is everybody today? It is Wednesday, December 6, 2021. And um, so far, it's been a good year. I'm not a millionaire yet, but uh, I'm going to get there <laughs> before I die. <laughs> Of course, with inflation, millions will not will be worth nothing. Um, so, thirty six degrees outside. So, temperature blanket wise, I went up to a warmer color yesterday on the crochet because I'm doing increments of ten degrees. Uh, on the loom, I stayed the same, all the same color so far, uh, and it's a really pretty pink. It's like a rose pink, and because I did that in increments of twenty degrees. However, uh, I anticipate it's getting colder tonight or throughout the day and tonight for the rest of the week. So, anyway, got my coffee. I got my heater on because it was cold in this room this morning. I feel a little warmer now. Oh, I had such a good yesterday good day yesterday um a few days ago i um you know there's this program at work i've been using and they finally updated it and made it workable um so i shared that the results with my boss and she was thrilled but um so i've got to work on that some more today but i'm just so tickled that i can finally navigate this program uh, you know with the updates that they really basically reworked the entire program which because it was just so hard difficult before and it's not because i'm 60 years old i'm a smart person <laughs> i went to law school but like some programs i just like i'm lost sometimes so yes i have been spending money for some reason every year at the beginning of the year i spend money i think it's because of the sales um, I don't know. I have stopped. I'm, I'm not buying anything else, but, um, I don't know. It's like you go through Christmas, you see stuff you want. If you don't get it, you buy it. Uh, you know, you're, I don't know what it is. I, I do it every year, but, um, here's what I got. Oh my God. So excited. So I bought this. It says, want to be a dream maker, a painting series by Ian Shan. It's a little carrying case. Look at that. But wait till you see, and I did this last night, um, what is inside. Super, super excited. I want to get my little trash can out of here. All my 310s, because that would be a disaster if I spilled it. Okay. So here is what is in here. Are you ready? Some of you already know. You're like, we know. We have that. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Here. And look, it's pink. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, lots of pinks. You, I don't think the camera picked it up, but look, all of my pencils. So I put the Prismas in here and I had them in a certain order, not um, numerical, but uh, with that color chart, you know, I put them in this kind of order uh, at, that the color chart is on there which is actually in the front pocket here. It has a little Velcro. And inside this front pocket is my little color chart. So, so I've got the Prismas in here. And I left a little room in case I'm going to add some. No, oh, you guys can't see. Yeah, in case I want to add some. So I left a little room. Because it looks like you could get three pencils in each uh, piece of elastic. I did that here. And then I put in my Artezas, because, you know, why not? And they are in numerical order, um, just because. So that is all of my pencils. Now, I learned yesterday from Shaleen, thank you, Shaleen, that, uh, you, know, you know, I was talking about the gnome coloring book and all the intricate detail. So she was saying you do like the larger stuff first you color the larger stuff and then with the intricate detail you use gel pens gel pen i have gel pens i just have to go find them they're in malia's closet somewhere so i'll find them 
because um, Shalene and I are doing a, a buddy color on the 20th on Craft With Me Wednesday. Um, so I'm going to get those gel pens out because uh, we're doing a page in that gnome coloring book. And uh, I'm going to play. Yes. So what else did she get? Yes. So I got this one. It's um, Sherry Baldy. It's called My Besties. And it's a spring issue one because I figure, you know, soon it will be spring. But not quite yet. But here's why I like it. Um, look, she looks like a gnome with a little beehive on her head. Gnomes there. That kind of, that you know, that caught my attention. So... Um, here's why I like it. Not so much intricate detail. Now it's single sided, uh, which, and you get two pictures, you know, every, for every page you get two pictures. Now I know Shalene will tell me why that is because I don't know. Um, I guess if you mess up, you can start again, but look at the gnomes. There's gnomes in here. Yes. How cute. And, and not so much detail. So I got that. 25 images, two of each. Plus four bonus pages. Oh, bonus pages. We like bonus pages. Anyway. And, you know, I could not resist. Hannah Lynn's Princesses and Storybook Darlings. You know, I have this diamond painting. Haven't done it. Of course, I'm working on Hannah Lynn's Alice. I wonder if she's in here. Oh, do you think the Alice is in here? I don't know. I wonder if it is. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, let's look and see if she put Alice in here. Um, oh, she's got Red Riding Hood. I have Red Riding Hood as well to diamond paint. Off to the ball. That's the one on the front. Um, oh. Oh, she's got one here called Down the Rabbit Hole. I don't think it, Diamond Art Club has picked up that one yet. Ooh, if they ever do. Ooh. But, you know what? I could color it down the rabbit hole. I like that. Snow White, Hansel and Gretel. Oh, there's so many that Diamond Art Club has not picked up. Ooh. That would be cool. And again, I think there's two of the each. Um, it's single-sided. There's two of each. The paper looks a little sturdier than in this one. But I could be wrong. I'm not I'm not into coloring so much that I know all about paper and everything. But here's the down the rabbit hole one. I think I'll do that one. Now, Shalene, if you have this book and you want to do the Alice, let me know. We'll switch to the Alice instead of the gnome. Because um, it is a year of Alice, right? So we could do the Alice. Anyway, enough with the coloring, right? Oh, so today on Craft With Me Wednesday, I will be doing loom knitting. Or no, I'm sorry, crochet. Crochet. I'm going to unbox some yarn and or unbag it. It's in a bag from Joann's. Um, their sale that they had over the weekend and uh, a flip through on a hat book that I picked up because unlike the yarn I've been purchasing, this yarn is for particular things. Yes, I learned, Mickey. Um, so I'll show you which yarn I'm going to use for which hat in the book. So that'll be on Craft With Me Wednesday this afternoon. Live at 6 p.m. Central. So here's my Alice. This is going very quickly. Yay. Here's what I have done so far. I'll just hold it up. I've got everything off here anyway. Look, I've almost got that bottom row done. Look, it says, eat me. I'll put it closer to the camera so you can see. There's the fairy door over here. Right there, the fairy door. Isn't that beautiful? So this, I'm working on this last section right here, and then I think I'll go up and over, but I've got to make some decisions on the ABs in the dress, which I haven't done that yet, because um, I know I have plenty of ABs here in the house. Oh, see, I knew that was going to happen. We, it's going to, it's bound to happen, right? You're going to have a drill spillage, right? But these, 
it's okay. so it's going much faster since i switched out the three tens that were in the kit those three tens in the kit were horrible so i just switched them out for some three tens that i had here in the house um already from my hay projects that you know have not been terribly successful your hate is just very difficult to do on camera and I've got so many other projects going on now as you guys know that that's just not my priority and I'm doing what makes me happy this year and I am very happy this this painting makes me happy my crocheting makes me happy and my loom knitting makes me happy um, and we'll see about the coloring <laughs> I'm not into it totally yet so gosh what happened yesterday I you know I just I don't know what's wrong with me I'm just like well nothing's wrong that's that's the thing like nothing's wrong I feel good <laughs> oh my god look at my hair oh I, you know what I did last night I washed it at night I don't usually wash my hair at night but last night I decided I'm gonna wash my hair at night oh my god look at it oh if I don't get a haircut holy moly and I went outside this morning it was all curly when I woke up this morning and then I went outside to take the garbage out and uh, <laughs> got a little frizzy because it's cold out there because I had to stay out for a while I was breaking down all those Christmas boxes good Lord because um, you know Amazon sends everything in a box you know you order a you order a pen, you get a big box. <laughs> so I had all these big boxes out there that I had to break down and get that garbage man to take them away. Do, 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 do. Okay. So let us work on this section, which I need my 310 back. Yes, I do. And I need a light. It's not that I can't see these drills. I can see them just fine. But um, it helps me to line them up really well. So let's just dip this in here. Get some black. Still working on I started the black outline, but I, I didn't quite finish it. So I did the same thing last night. I followed that little routine. And I, well, after I put all the pencils in my case. That took a little while. But I... Um, what was I? Oh, so I, <laughs> goodness gracious, uh, finished this section. And when I was done with this section, then I got ready for bed. Well, and then I decided oh, I'm going to take a bath, a hot bath. And it felt magnificent. And then, of course, I washed my hair and everything. Um, just your whole body just kind of relaxes when you do that. Um, and then I finished my crochet and my loom and, and all that stuff. I've been watching this show called The Vikings. Um, it's a tad violent, <laughs> just a tad, but it's a good show. It, you know, I like the storyline. Um, it, it's interesting to see uh, things from a perspective of, you know, a culture that we really knew nothing about the Viking culture and how these people lived um, it's interesting so I think I'm on episode I think I just finished episode five of season one and I all had always heard it was a good show and I just because like the first episode the first five minutes is really bloody and violent and I, I could never get past that so I finally decided to get past it I got past it and the rest is pretty good I just have to I close my eyes during the fight scenes I really do because I you know if I see that axe coming down I'm like oh my eyes are shut because I don't want to see the blood dripping or yeah oh no mm -mm. so I watched a bunch of that and then I've been watching this other show called Virgin River. And it's very, um, it's a drama, but there's nothing exciting about it. It's, 
it's just kind of one of those shows where the woman goes to a small town and she has to learn the small town way. You know, it's been made in the past, this kind of show, and, and people have always enjoyed it. So, you know, it's kind of, there's some comedic aspects to it. And, um, you know, so she's falling in love with the good looking guy in the town who happens to be an alcoholic pill popper. <laughs> you know? But a really nice guy. He's just suffering from PTSD from the war in Iraq. Um, but that's a, it's a decent show. You know, I, I wouldn't put it on the same level of as Vikings, but it's just, you know, it's something to watch. I feel like I've watched everything. I watched the first hour of The Bachelor. Um, oh, is he cute? Oh, my God, that guy is adorable. And he's only 28. He's a baby. Oh, my God. Oh, to be 28 again. What was I doing? When, when I was 28, I had two kids already. <laughs> so I guess 28 isn't that young. Yeah, I already had two kids. Yep. Um, at 28, Raina would have... Ryan would have been eight and Raina would have been about four years old uh, four or five so and at that point we were living in Hollywood Florida yeah those would have been my church days I, that, those were the days where I was going to the Lutheran Church yeah brings back a lot of memories oh my god yesterday Mickey reminded me You've got to renew your driver's license. Yes, I do. So I went online and I ordered my birth certificate, but I had this box behind me and I thought, well, let me check this box before I order anything. Um, it was just a box of stuff. And then it turns out it was a lot of sewing stuff. I used to be super into sewing. Eh, this hat, now it's sliding up because I got my hair under it. I was super into sewing, love sewing. Um, I have a great sewing machine. I've got a brother sewing machine. I just, right now, it's just not something I'm interested in. Um, so a lot of it was sewing stuff like buttons and face, you know, just stuff. But there was a lot of paperwork in there. <laughs> like, I found the, um, like, when people sign in at your wedding, I found those, I tore, I, Apparently, I tore them out of the book and threw the book away because it was probably yellowing after all these years. But I saved, like, the list, the guest list of my wedding. I'm like, well, if the guest list is here, surely my marriage certificate or divorce decree is in here somewhere. Nope. I found all, a bunch of wedding photos. Um, I found this old letter that Malia wrote to me. Oh, my God. She must have been eight or nine when she wrote it to me and she, it was really cute super cute so I'm just going down memory lane you know so then I decided I'm going to take a nap and when I go to take a nap I dreamed that I was getting married to this guy again you know his name is Roger that I was getting married to Roger again and Roger is the one that passed away earlier in the year from COVID but uh, I dreamed we were getting married again. We were having a huge wedding. And um, we didn't have a huge wedding the first time, so I don't know why I was dreaming this. But we had a huge wedding planned and a big gown. And I decided, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get married. So I'm hemming and hawing. And I decided, okay, I'm going to go put the gown on. And when, as I'm going to put the gown on, I see all the guests are leaving the church or wherever it was. I don't, I don't know if it was a church. But they're all leaving. And I'm like, why is everybody leaving? And they're like, oh, Roger changed his mind. He don't want to get married. <laughs> so then, like, he met me in some back room and we were making out. I don't know. It was weird. It was just a weird dream. <laughs> oh, God. Does anybody else dream about their ex? I guess put, going through the wedding photos and the guest list brought back memories. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word so that was that was fun 
but yes, I so I order my birth certificate online and I um, put in a records request for my divorce decree. That was back in 97, 1997. Yeah. So, oh my God, I've been yammering yammer, yammer for 20 minutes. Okay, so what national day is it? It is national. I gotta pull it up because I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, it's National Cuddle Up Day. Um, you know, in, in a time of COVID, I think this is especially poignant. You know, when you go and you cuddle up, and it, it doesn't have to be another person. It can be your dogs. For me, it is my dogs. When you cuddle up, it, it's really good for your health. It releases oxytocin for, into the brain which helps reduce heart disease, it lowers blood pressure, stress, anxiety. Um, and if you're in pain, or like maybe your joints are aching because January is the coldest month of the year, go cuddle up, you know, just try it out. Just make notes of what your pain is. Just kind of be conscious of what the pain is. Then go get your dogs, make it a three dog night. Did you know what three dog night means? It means it takes three dogs to get you warm. Cuddle up with three dogs. Three dog. That's what a three dog night is. That's how cold it is. Um, so you take note of what your pain is or your anxiety or whatever it is. And then go cuddle up with your loved one, with your significant other, with your dogs. And then afterwards, see if your pain has gone away or your anxiety. I, for me... I know at night, if Tootsie is not touching me somewhere, um, I can't sleep. I, just the feel of her up against my body or me touching her reduces my stress and anxiety. Um, it just calms me. Like, this calm comes over me. And when she cuddles up to me, I get warm and I get calm and I just go right to sleep. Well, not ever, all the time, but... It's, it's a very calming effect. Now, Jake is not a cuddler. Jake will not cuddle with me. He just, he's at the bottom of the bed. He's not, he's not about the cuddling. And it's so sad that, you know, we're in COVID and we can't hug and touch each other because it's so important to our well-being to be able to, to have that touch with other people. But, and cuddling boosts sexual desire. So if you're happening to cuddle with your significant other, not only are you releasing the oxytocin, but the dopamine's going to get going if you have sex, and that's even better. So, <laughs> um, dopamine stimulates the brain to seek pleasure, um, and it can improve memory and focus. So, what does that mean? It means I need to have sex. No. <laughs> I'll find another way to improve my memory. Thank you very much. It is what it is, folks. <laughs> so, what day is it in history? Well, on in 1975, January 6, 1975, Wheel of Fortune premieres. Yeah, who knew? And the original cast was Susan Stafford and Chuck Woolery. And I remember the original show. They would spin the wheel, um, and then whoever solved the puzzle, they would take whatever money they won, and they would go shopping. There would be different, you know, sets that they could shop from. I'll buy the couch, I'll buy the refrigerator, I'll, you know, whatever. Um, but uh, in 19, I mean, that went on for years and years and years, that format where they would shop. But when it became a nighttime show, they um, had this like one month special where it was just like money, one money. And people just loved that. So they did away with the shopping um, and then they just made it money. And people like that much better. But here's what's interesting. The Pat Sajak, who's the host now, and Vanna White, who turns the letters, um, have joined the show in 81 and 82. 
and have been on it ever since. They're like the quintessential game show hosts. And <laughs> interestingly enough, in 1975, it cost $250 to buy a Val. That has never changed with inflation. Now, the other numbers have gone up. They've increased the amounts of the other slots on the wheel. But to buy a Val, it's always been $250. Now, here's another fun fact about Wheel of Fortune. Vanna White never wears the same gown. And she has been in 6,500 episodes. Can you imagine... Can, that you could say, I've worn 6,500 gowns. Wow. So I'm, I'm guessing she doesn't keep them all because you'd have to have some big old closets for that. 6,500, holy moly. They've given out over $200 million in prizes. Um, and no, another fun fact is uh, where, let me find it. Oh, here it is. Pat Sajak earns $52,000 an episode. $52,000 for 30 minutes. Now, I'm sure it takes longer than that for him to film the episode, but and then Vanna White earns $34,000 an episode. I, I want that gig. <laughs> a, a new gown every day and $34,000 an episode. Holy moly. So, <laughs> the, uh, and how you get on this show, I have no idea. I didn't look that up, but because um, I'm not, I, I'm not really good at that kind of a thing, I, you know. It's it kind it combines hangman with roulette, so you get to spin the wheel. I could spin the wheel. I'm good at that. Buy a vowel. I'd like to solve the puzzle. I you know I've got all the lingo down, but I think when you get in front of cameras and you know you're on TV and you get nervous and well I guess there's no audience. At one time there was an audience, but no audience now. Um, I probably wouldn't be able to solve the puzzle. <laughs> I'd be looking at going, I don't know what that is. Uh, can I buy another vowel? And it always bugged me about that show when people would buy a vowel when they knew what the puzzle was. So why are you buying a daggum vowel? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe just to make sure that they were correct in their, uh, you know, I don't know. I never understood it. If you know the answer to the puzzle, stop buying vowels or stop spinning. You know, I know why they spin again, because they want more money. I get that. But don't spend your money on the vowels. So that is this day in history. Wheel of Fortune. 38 seasons of Wheel of Fortune. I know people that will stop everything they were doing at night to watch Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. There are certain people that I could not bother them for that hour of the night. No, I'm sorry, I'm watching Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> like friends that you just couldn't call because they were watching Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. Now here in Wichita, they Jeopardy comes on earlier in the afternoon before the news and Wheel of Fortune comes on at night. I don't know. Oh, and they're planning. I don't know if it airs this week or next week a celebrity wheel of fortune now that will be a hoot i'm sure so i hope i can see you guys tonight on craft with me wednesday like i said we're gonna unbox some yarn talk about some crochet projects that i've got planned because I'm not just going to work on the blanket all I mean, I'm going to work on the blanket all year, but I want to do some crochet projects. Um, I am still working on, um, I'll show you my progress on the hooded scarf. Uh, I put the sweater away for a little while, but I can get that back out. I'll show you my progress on the sweater. Um, I really need to work on that sweater. I love the sweater. I don't know why I stopped working on it. Probably, could, I don't know. Who knows? I'll pick it back up again. But you know me, I'm always making hats. I got to make a hat. I've got a... Um, 
a blue hat on the loom for Hat Not Hate, the Lion Brand Hat Not Hate campaign for anti-bullying. Um, check that out on Lion Brand's site if you want more information. So that is today's show, guys. I am going to get some breakfast, go sit down in my office, and go to work. Um, I love you all, and I will see you tonight. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.